All right, back in the sack for part eight. And before we jump into what happened in this episode, let me just give you a little foreshadowing. It took me six different video files and a little over three hours of gameplay for just this one part. Oh boy. All right, so picking off where we left off the last episode, the beginning part of this, you can tell it was going to be rough because in the very first area, I had a hell of a hard time against this mere group of soldiers. All right, first attempt, I sneak in. I'm doing it oh, this, the, the right way, you know, doing everything perfectly beaten second attempt I get back in there derailed third attempt it took the use of my divine beast because I was tired I was getting frustrated I was like this is not happening to get past this part this is gonna be a long one anyway next we go to help Sun Jian the tiger against Shu Rong and if he thought he was gonna beat me Shu Rong <laughs> I'll let myself out. My next bit of difficulty comes from crossing paths with a T-Rex tiger. I swear, these guys, the, the, these are the ones that always get me in this game. So obviously he wrecks me in the first time. I go back and I find a ballista for my second attempt, which gave me a huge advantage. Still wasn't enough. So then I burn another two tiger seals so I can bring some help with me and try again. And I get successful this time because third time's a charm. Well, sometimes. Anyway, I clear up a little bit of the area and then I end up facing off against one mere soldier who ends up wrecking my ass. I lost all of my progress up to that point, which means I had to go back and repeat what I just did with the freaking T-Rex Tiger. You can see why there's six parts now, huh? Anyway, so I take a break, I come back later, and I eventually get to the next area, which is just a challenge. Dear Lord. I approach this other soldier. I kill him. I'm approaching the big boy. He's looking right at me, and as soon as I'm approaching him, I'm getting hit by archers, getting hit by ballista, and I finally get through. Barely, barely made it to the new area. And I'm approaching this little panda because I'm like, oh, I wonder what he's going to do. Out of nowhere, I get ambushed. I can't recover. I don't know what's happening. And I'm dead once again. So fast forwarding through all that again, I got to repeat everything I just did. And I haven't even gotten to Hua Xiong yet. Oh my God. Anyway, my first attempt against Hua Xiong was definitely arrogant. I should have waited. I should have cleared more time or cleared more of the area on top of the castle. And, you know, what do you expect? Moving on, to summarize my fight ag up against Hua Xiong, basically, I did what I was supposed to do and actually leveled up to actually stand a chance against Hua Xiong. We learned the hard way. So I beat Hua Xiong, but he was just the appetizer because we were getting into the main course. All Dynasty Warriors fans knows what happens after you beat Hua Xiong. Whether you're at the Sichui Gate map or you're at the Hulao Gate and he's part of that as well, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Lu Bu appears. And this isn't a Dynasty Warrior, so there is no option in this game to go around him. Wan Shao's not there giving his timely advice. Don't pursue Lu Bu. So we gotta face him head to head. Now my initial thought of fighting against Lu Bu was that he wasn't that bad because he spent half of his time on his horse and you know, originally it took a little bit to get used to his movements and the arrows and everything like that. That eventually got really easy. The hard part was when he came off of his horse and getting used to that. It took me close to two hours to beat this freaking dude. But I get it. I understand. It's Lu Bu. If he wasn't this hard, I would have been like taking notes from Dynasty Warriors 9, aren't we? But I tell you, I was burning through my tiger seals trying to you know bring any modicum of help just to beat this guy eventually i realized that no one is doing anything and i have to do this pretty much the old-fashioned way on my own so after fail and fail and fail and fail on the 39th try i finally slayed kind of the demon of the hulao gate Lu Bo. he ends up getting away so it's also a foreshadow that i might have to verse him again he's still a bad guy i'm sure i'm not going to see the last of him there but i eventually get past him I get, I get up, I stretch, I get a massage, hit the sauna because that was a marathon of a part. Uh, Hong Jing at the end says some weird inference to Lu Bu before he runs off, which is intriguing. Uh, my initial thought when I first saw it was, does she know him? And is that going to come back to bite me in the ass? Is she going to like betray me or some shit? Because that'd be crazy. Wouldn't be far-fetched, but it'd be crazy. It ends up ending with Dong Zhuo burning the city as per usual. And that's pretty much it. Part 8, oh my god. I mean, part 7 was very frustrating as well. We had the invasion and Zhang Rong was pretty annoying to beat but he didn't take that long to beat versus Lu Bu close to 40 tries I died in the areas the small areas so this was hard part 8 definitely hands down the hardest part so far I'm not looking forward to fighting Lu Bu again it just seems like it's gonna happen I don't know I really don't want to spoil myself so I'm not watching any like full reviews or walkthroughs or anything like that I try to avoid those titles or thumbnails um, so I don't know what's gonna happen next but I assume I have to fight Lu Bu at some point again because he's still alive but yeah that's pretty much all I have for the video guys 
guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Part 8 was rough for me, uh, but we got through it. Anyway, if you guys liked it, I definitely appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Later, guys.